I started my YouTube channel and a social media experiment a year ago and what would happen if I just shamelessly plugged myself for a full year. And it came about out of like, I guess frustration and like I'm seeing all these randoms and no names kind of like get ahead and like seeing that they're taking advantage of social media to like market their brand or whatever it is that they're doing. And I'm like, just kind of quietly hating. <laughs> so I just said, you know what, F it, let me try and see what would happen if I did it. Out of all of the, the networks I decided to pursue, YouTube was the most receptive in a sense that people were commenting and the volume of comments were more than, say, like Instagram. I get a lot of my ideas from my viewers. Like they were, at the time, I had curly big hair and they were harassing me to do a curly video when my whole premise was like, no, I'm an intellectual, I'm studying the shameless movement. And I was doing interviews, but that wasn't very effective. Like they were like, yeah, 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 we like what you're saying, but talk about your hair. So <laughs> I did that and then, then they'll ask me something about like, oh, what was the makeup you're wearing in that video with your hair? So I'll do that. But then I try to like find a balance. I'm very much into big personalities. I love drag queens, I love over the top. So I try to tie that in here and there. I was so afraid when I uploaded um, the why I'm gonna shave my hair. I was so afraid because I, I already knew I was gonna do it when I started this experiment. But because so many viewers got attached to my hair, I was like, oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna lose a lot of subscribers. Like even the, the network I'm signed to, they were like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Go ahead, do you, boo. And then when they found out that I had such a huge hair following, they were even a bit like, wow, this might be interesting. Emotionally and psychologically, it was very cathartic for me because I was going through a lot of personal-ish. Um, but even, just in terms of like presence, that topped everything that I could have done, like drag queen, Nicki Minaj, just the act of being shameless is a very freeing liberal act. It's so easy to fall into trends. Like it's very, it was very easy for me to fall into the beauty guru trend and that, that can work for you. But then you always, for me, I would, my advice would be to think of something creative to make yourself different from everyone else. Like, there are certain, like, I don't know, structures set in place, but it's important to, like, recognize that, but be creative and, like, kind of push the boundaries a little bit. Just be unique. And being yourself is being unique. That's a wrap. That's it! Check me out on YouTube! Shameless Maya! In your face! <laughs>